So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can create a dome like this one. Uh, so I've set my drawing up to start off with. So I've now got it with uh, no dome, obviously. Uh, and um, I've got my sections uh, through set up. And you can see I've got my level three here. It's going to be the top of the upstand um, within the roof opening. So when I go to level three itself, we can see this upstand here. And this is the size of the dome I want it to be. So the first thing we need to do is download um, a pre uh, built mass uh, that's in Revit already. So if I go into insert and load family and when you open up yours, you'll be in uh, something similar to this. So it's actually in uh, the folder called mass. And then you can see all these different masses that we've got in here. So there's loads that you can choose from. Uh, obviously the one that we're going to want is dome. So I'm going to select dome. And uh, when, you're, when you do that, go back to architecture and go into component, because that's where it's going to come from uh, within uh, that itself. Now, um, we can place on a workplace or uh, place on a face. Usually, uh, place on face is the default. Um, and then you can see I can't, it won't let me place it where I want to in the center here, only on, on, on the face of uh, an object. If I place it on a work plane, it's actually going to place it onto, you can see here, level three. The other thing is I can't really see it. Um, so what I need to do is go into massing and site and turn on this button here, show mass by view settings. And now we can start to see um, this dome uh, in plan view. Now, my one uh, is going to be too big. I want, don't want it to be this size. So I'm going to just change uh, the radius um, of this one. And I'm also going to change the height as well. So I'm going to change this to 3650 because that's the radius of my opening. And I'm also going to do the height the same. And it's going to keep it. Um, exactly how I want it. And then I'm going to place it on the center and it will snap to there, hopefully. That's it. And then when I go back to my 3D view, we can now see I've got this dome in place. When I open up the section view, um, I'll make this a bit bigger so I can see it all. Uh, when I click on the dome itself, you can see I've got these handles I can use uh, to either lower the dome, raise it up, make it a different size, uh, and actually change that around. But I've, I've used the, the boxes on the left-hand side here in the dimensions, radius, and height just to, to do that with. Uh, once I've done that, if I go back into my 3D view, we can now see this uh, dome has been masked. This is just the mass itself. Uh, the first thing I want to do is um, actually uh, cover it in glass. So I want to actually make the glass itself. So for this, I'm going to go into uh, architecture, and um, I'm going to go into wall, and I'm actually going to make or create a glass. I've already got one in here because I've done this uh, when I was producing the curved um, storefront here. I actually already made a glass wall, but I'm going to show you how to do it again just in case you're not sure. So into here, I like to pick a simple wall. So one like this, this wall, exterior 215 brickwork. Go edit type and duplicate. And I'm going to call this one uh, glass wall. I think I have to call it two because I've already got one in there. Uh, so go like that and then click on to there where I've got this structure where it says brick. I'm going to change this to glass. That glass and I'm going to make this one 24 mil thick. It's a pretty standard size glass. Click OK, uh, click apply and then click OK. So I've now got this uh, glass wall in my properties box. So we can see I've got this glass wall in here. Yep. Um, now, I'm going to come out of that and go back into wall. And when I create the wall, I want to do it by face. So click on the little arrow below it and then wall by face. And what I can now do is click on this one here and click on this form here. The dome's actually in two halves. And I've now got this glass um, dome in, in place. Now, um, when I'm in here, whilst I'm here, before I forget, go back into massing site and then just turn off the mass itself. So it's just got rid of that original mass that was there. Uh, what I now need to do is create um, the, the structure that's going to hold this in place. So I'm going to go back into architecture. And I'm going to do the same thing again, um, go into wall. Uh, and then so I'm going to select once again that same brickwork wall, this 215 brickwork. And I'm going to edit type and duplicate. I'm going to call this one uh, aluminium. Uh, I'm going to call it aluminium structure okay click on here and again same sort of thing this time i'm just going to go aluminium you could make this anything you want it to be really aluminium. there it is and the thickness of this i'm going to make 150 
you can make yours however thick you want it to be and then apply and OK. And what I can now do, if I go into level three, I'm actually going to create this wall. So I've got this aluminium structure wall. Um, I want it to be at level three with zero base offsets. I want it to sit onto there. And the height of it will make it two meters for now. Um, doesn't really matter what it's going to be just yet because we're going to adjust that in a second, as you'll see. Uh, I'm also going to make sure that I'm on the wall center line because I want to create um, from here just a wall coming across to there like that. And then when I go into 3D, I should now be able to see this wall, which is sitting inside exactly how I want it to be at the moment. If I go into my section, I can click on this wall. I can just drag this up if I want to. Uh, make sure it's sitting uh, at level three, which it is. And I can either double click on this or I can use the edit profile button at the top here. And what I'm going to do is just select all of those and delete. And I'm going to draw some new ones in. So I'm going to use the pick lines tool. So this one here. And I'm going to have an offset of, in this case, I'm going to go 50 mil. And that will give me an overall of 100 mil. So I'm going to click on the outside of there, then click on the inside of there. So I've now got this. Uh, structure on the outside or on the inside and then you go straight line and in my offset change that to zero because i don't want to be offsetting this line just to create the loop same across there and with that i can now green tick and when i go into my 3d i can you can now see i've got this uh structure all you need to do now is repeat this however many times I want it. So the quickest way of doing that is to go to level three, click on it, and I'm going to copy, and then I'm going to paste into the same place, so aligned to same place. So I've now got two sitting there. So if I click on the rotate button and start here and then come around 90 degrees, it's now copied it like so. And then if I go back into there and... Uh, do the same one again. So I'm now going to paste uh, a line to the same place and this time click on it. Uh, but this time I'm going to click there and then come up 45 degrees. And then paste a line to the same place again. Use my rotate button. Click and then bring it around this way 45 degrees. Like so. I've now got, in my thread, I've now got this uh, cross-section going on, uh, which is how it wants to be. Now, you can just leave it as that if you want, or you can put a ring around the bottom um, just to give it like a bit of a seal. Um, and again, the same way, I'll just do that at level three. Um, I'll use the probably use the wall again, same one. Um, use the uh, um, pick lines tool, and then just pick uh, the outside or the inside of that line there. When you're doing these, make sure you're picking the same ones. Because if you look there, you can see it's um, offset. So it's just where I picked up the wrong line. So you can make sure you do pick up all of those lines so it goes all the way around. And um, this one here, for instance, you can see has uh, got an issue that is too high because um, we've got this um, unconnected height of 200 or 2 meters. So if I just um, hover over one, hit the tab key, and then select. No, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to click that one there, hold down the control button. And that one's just got the outside ring. And then that unconnected height, I'm going to make it, I don't know, 100 mil. Like that. So now it's going around um, much nicer. And you can see you've got this kind of ring at the bottom here, um, which goes around, which kind of gives it a bit of a seal. And that is one way of uh, creating a dome uh, in Revit.